I think it's crazy. Because, in all honesty, I would say diet is not black or white. But one thing I know for sure, and I'm speaking for myself, is that in order for me to have the physical strength to be even considered what I would consider functional, and by functional I mean, you know, I can defend myself, I can take on physical tasks that are very exhausting, you know just kind of basic things that you think you would need energy to do I know everyone has their own strength level their own different levels there's people who are stronger than others and there's people who are younger and older but one thing that I'm not going to lie for one second is the notion that meat is bad for you somehow and that plant is Anyway, okay? At the basics. I mean, basics, I mean, like, at their base. You know? Like, all I have to say is this. Not all I have to say. What I have to say is this. You're an idiot if you really think that you can cut out meat out of your diet. And I'll honestly say, 98% of people I see eat meat, they don't eat half of as much meat as they really should be to be strong. Just because you're surviving does not mean you're strong. I mean, do you, don't you want to be strong as a person? I mean, come on. You don't even have to be an athlete to be strong. Like, don't you want to do fun things? Or don't you want to have the strength to do chores and tasks that you need to get done? There, there's no way that you could be as strong as you maybe would want to be on these weak ass, crazy, wacky ass, plant based, whatever. I, I don't know what's going on, man. I know people who are leaning towards plant based or leaning towards vegan. I've known people who dabble in that thing. But I just have to say. Maybe no one would take my word for it, because I'm just some random dude. Or if you know me, I'm just Steve. I'm just some random black guy. But, I'm telling you from my experience, if in your gut you feel that, uh, you know, you need meat in your diet, and you believe that that plant BS is exactly that BS, follow your gut. Because I'm just telling you, you want to have strong bones? Don't, don't, don't go plant-based vegan. You know, don't cut meat out of your diet. Especially if you're an athlete, or you're a martial artist, or if you're just someone who cares about the strength of your body, how functional your body is, how formidable you are. You know, and today I just happen to be talking about bones because today, uh... I went outside and it's kind of slippery, so I really didn't want to um, exercise the way I wanted on certain surfaces because of how slippery it was. So I decided I would do a little bit, a little bit of that, but for the most part, I would just strengthen my knuckles, shins, elbows. Um, I, didn't, I felt like not my knees really because, you know, in my opinion, they're a little bit more delicate. Actually, I'd say my my shins more delicate sometimes and I feel like my elbows and my knuckles sometimes but I try to condition them because that's just you know what you do when you want them to be, be tough you know even whether if it's for sport or just self-defense you just you want your bones to be, to be strong and tough I've even had experiences where I've been climbing where um, whether intentionally or unintentionally even climbing something like a similar to a pole or a pole you do make some contact with your shins a little bit, you know, so just, just in general. So basically what I'm saying is, it, it, it doesn't matter if you're simply 
just having a bad fall and you fall and you and you know you land badly because you didn't land well however you fell i hope your bones are strong and the thing is the effects of your diet will have a lot to say about the outcome of what's going to happen to your bones you know like as you grow just the quality of the strength of your bones your hair your skin etc so what i'm saying is i don't buy into the notion of this whole crazy crazy vegan craze because that's all it is is a damn craze a marketing scheme and it's very deceptive you know everyone's raving about this whole game changers thing and i think it's completely freaking insane it's insane you know depending on like what you do with your uh diet depends on how healthy and strong you're gonna be man and you know what all i can say is what i know for myself all i can say is what's worked for me deep down that's all i can say because i haven't experienced someone else's life but i've experienced my own life and i'll tell you this my experience with a uh, whole plant-based type of thing plant-based diet mostly greens you know just a little bit of uh, meat which is mostly fish salmon in fact salmon in some salad you know uh what do they call it um complex carbs like whole grains i did that for a little while and it was the worst the worst diet that I think I've ever tried. So all I'm saying is this. If it works for you, then uh, I don't know about you, man. You must be special. But all I have to say is this. I'm not buying it. Because they try to make this sound like this is like this set in stone crazy thing. Like, uh, you know, that, that gate. a lot of these lines I hear from this like Game Changers movie is <laughs> so damn stupid that I don't know what to say. It's okay to have vegetables, though. It's okay to drink veggie smoothies and this and fruit this and fruit smoothies and whatever. And it's okay to have, like, a salad here and a salad there. I like salad sometimes, too. But I'm, what I'm saying is I'm seeing some people take it so overboard that it's starting to annoy me. And actually, when I look at it, it's kind of comical. Like, I watch these vegan deterioration videos, they call them, and stuff like that. And I laugh because it's just kind of funny. It's funny because a person does that to themselves. And you know how it is when someone does things to themselves that might be horrible. It's kind of funny. Uh, well, what I got to say about that.